Shahabuddin Ahmad. Mashallah, he is residing in South Florida here. He is a prominent businessman and philanthropist and a community leader. He is the president of Islamic Central Islamic Organization of Guyana, mashallah, ICIOG. Al-Hajj Shahabuddin Ahmad is recently appointed chairman of, a, chairman of the board of trustee and the central mosque of Georgetown, Guyana. The Queenstown Jama Masjid, Ahmad served as a trustee, and he, he, he served as a trustee for several years before he was appointed as the chairperson of the Queenstown Masjid. So, Brother Ahmad, please uh, come to the stage, inshallah, and collect your reward. Oh, he's not here? Yeah, someone else can, can, can pick up on his behind. Oh, he's coming. That's the shop? Okay. <laughs> Mashallah, Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, taking a picture for you, Oh, no I think we've heard quite a lot this evening, and what stands out is hadith of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam that embodies the length and breadth of everyone who received uh, an, an, an honor tonight. Uh, and that beautiful saying of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, those who are in the service of others, God Almighty is in your service. And our teacher once told us, you know, there was this big ceremony that he gave a he gave a, he was giving a, a Sahih Bukhari and everybody wanted to attend. But then he said, bring the children as well. But then everybody said, no, the children will make too much noise and distract from this, you know, this Sahih Bukhari reading of Sahih Bukhari. He said, no, let the children come, but have someone, a sister or two who would like to take care of the children but let the children come. So the children were placed in a different room, but there was a speaker system in that room that people could have heard. But it was so disruptive that they had to cut that off too and let the children be. So this sister who volunteered to take care of the kids, she was one of the top students. And when the session was over, the Sheikh gave pointed examples and you know it was very impressive the way he delivered and so no everyone you couldn't help but to think oh she really missed out what was amazing is that when she came she knew everything that was spoken i'm saying this because those who are in the service of others god almighty is in your service and this is the path that my beloved brothers who what you've seen tonight of a brother who came up, he takes this very literally. Does not want to be in the forefront at all. And he is where he is because of this. Very few people know who, who, who he is. And that's how he wants it. We begged him today to be here. And it's because of love of our beloved Maulana and the fantastic work that is being done. My beloved brothers and sisters, we need to take, all need to take a page from everyone here who's honored. The selfless acts that they do day in, day out, the sacrifices that the families go through, they do it all for you and I, for the next generation that is coming. So this world, in a world where we have the I everything, it is a world, my beloved brothers, that shapes our mentality to only think of ourselves. And so those who think of others, those who think of others, that is what our world needs. We need to think of our brother, our sister, our neighbor, regardless of color, 
creed and we don't have to be in the forefront we can also be in the background so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless continue to bless al hikmat al hikmat what a wonderful name al hikmat al hikmat wisdom we use wisdom when we interact with each other so may god almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless bless you maulana for all the hard work and all the volunteers and the team it takes an army, it really does. We know what it, what, what it is. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all our recipients and especially my beloved brother Shahabuddin Ahmad, the president of the Central Islamic Organization of Guyana.